Please set the power on test first. Connect power and check if the power and the basic functions run normally without connecting any external devices. Secondly, we will have an external devices check and connect. Please use the multimeter to confirm that there is no short circuit or ground connection. The wiring includes loop bus and output wire. The devices started by 24 volt can use output wire to output. Please pay attention that you must cut off the power when connect the internal wiring. Do not operate under power. Next, you can do commissioning once the wiring finished. There are two methods of commissioning, with and without mouse and keyboard. Connect the power, turn on the main power switch. After several seconds, turn on the reserve power switch. And then the power is on. LCD will display the current time. Press the star key in the keypad area and the screen will pop up a related login interface. Input the default password. And then press enter to confirm. In the meantime, if the keyboard key lights up in green, indicates that the host has logged in successfully. Press menu to access the menu bar and edit the program. Another method is to use mouse and keyboard. Press the keys Ctrl, Alt, and Delete together at the same time on your own keyboard. The screen will pop up a related login interface. Input the default password and then press Enter on your own keyboard to confirm. In the meantime, if the keyboard key on the panel lights up in green, indicates that the host has logged in successfully. Press F1 to access the menu bar and edit the program. It will be more convenient by using mouse and keyboard. OK, let's introduce the commissioning steps. First, access the menu bar. You can use left, right, or tab keys to switch and select the menu. Of course, if you connect a mouse, it will be more convenient. Press tab key to move the cursor to the system column. Then press down key to select time setup. At last, press enter to access. You can correct the time according to your local time. Let's go to the zone setup. Press tab key to the red column. After moving the cursor to the first item, press enter and the cross mark will be changed to check mark. For example, we input the zone 1 to describe the position. Then press OK to save. This setting can be used for registering the zones of this project. Press tab key to move cursor to the building column. Press down key to building setup and press enter to access. The other operations are EBIT. Then press OK to save. This setting will register each building in this project. The above setting could be set in accordance with actual buildings. Press tab key to move cursor to the floor column. Press down key to floor setup and press enter to access. The other operations EBIT. Then press OK to save. This setting will register each floor of each building in this project. The above setting is logically divided as below in accordance with the area under jurisdiction of the site actual project. Note, at the beginning of commissioning, zone, building, and floor should be set. Other settings are dependent on these data. Please have a look at this diagram. For example, here is a project. This project includes 20 zones at most. Each zone includes 20 buildings at most, and each building includes 200 overground floors and 10 underground floors at most. Part 2. 
loop setting. Now let's set a loop. Press tab first to move cursor to this canvas. Press down key to I.O. board setup. Press enter to access. Select the quantity of loop boards according to the actual usage. Press tab to move cursor to this canvas. Press down key to detector and module setup. Press enter to access. External devices need to be registered in accordance with actual construction conditions. Please choose corresponding I.O. board and loop. ADDR means actual address code. REG means registered equipment. Device type select the corresponding device name. For example, optical electric detector. Please choose OPTD. Heat detector. Please choose Heat D. Manual call point. Please choose MCP. Manufacturer type select the corresponding device type. For example, optical electric detector. Please choose OPTD. Heat detector. Please choose Heat D. Manual call point. Please choose MCP. If you want to know more devices names, please look up the instruction book. Zone defaults to 1. Please modify to the actual area of equipment. BLDG defaults to 1. Please modify to the actual building of equipment. Floor defaults as the same to the address code. Please modify to the actual floor of equipment. In the previous operation, the floor was registered one floor, so let's change them to one. Next, drag the status bar to the end of right. We will see the position description. Let's take office as an example. Press F5 to copy. and press F9 to paste. The other columns which didn't mention, just keep them default and press OK to save. Part 3. System Linkage Setting Now we need to focus on the system linkage setting. The linkage setting of this system is a human-machine interface system that logically completes the linkage relation of different area or different linkage. Press menu to access the menu bar. Press tab to move cursor to this linkage. The linkage setting is divided into system linkage setup, zone linkage setup, building linkage setup, floor linkage setup, and room linkage setup. Building linkage setup and floor linkage setup are used more in Europe. Now let's see an example. The building on the design drawing is a three-story building. The plane graph of the first floor is as below. The positions of firefighting equipment in one to three story are the same. The positions of code list are as follows. On the first floor, smoke detectors are 1 to 12. Manual call points are 13 and 15. Horn strokes are 14 and 16. On the second floor, smoke detectors are 17 to 28. Manual call points are 29 and 31. Horn strokes are 30 and 32. On the third floor, smoke detectors are 33 to 44. Manual call points are 45 and 47. Horse ropes are 46 and 48. Linkage plan 1. 
applicable to the whole building. Analyze the building in the paragraph. If any one of the three floors catches fire, the horn stroke and the control devices in the whole building need to act. Press menu to access the menu bar. Press tab to move cursor to this linkage. Building linkage setup. Press enter to access the operation page. The left position is condition setting zone. The middle position is output result list. The right position is module list optional devices list. Condition setting zone. Zone building and floor default to empty. Press tab to move cursor here and press enter to access and choose the corresponding number of zone, building, and floor in the drop-down box. Delay defaults to empty. Press tab to move cursor here and press enter to access and choose time in the drop-down box. Zero delay is recommended. REG defaults to empty. Press tab to move cursor here and press enter to check. There are many alarm devices such as OPTB, heat D, manual call point on the left side. Press tab to move cursor here and press enter to check. Action amount defaults to 1. Satisfy the need of fire alarm amount. For example, 0 2 indicates that when any two devices give an alarm, the output devices will act. On the middle part is an output result list with some optional action devices. Defaults to empty. Module list. Press tab to move cursor here. You need to choose corresponding loop from I.O. board in the module list. Use the drop-down menu key to choose some devices, such as horn and strobe. Press the left key and this device will appear in output result list. If you need to delete, Press tab to move cursor to this result list. Use the drop down menu key in output result to choose some devices. Then press the right key and options will be removed. After all the selections, press OK to save it. Press menu to access the menu bar. Press tab to move cursor to floor linkage setup and press enter. This condition setting is the same as building linkage. When the above operation system finished, the linkage setting is basically completed. Finally, press OK to save. Repeater panel setting. When there is a repeater panel in the project needs to be set, Press menu to access the menu bar. Press tab to move cursor to system. Access the system. Fire indicating panel setup to set. ID is the address number of display panel. REG is the registration. Type is the display way. You could just take the defaults. Zone building floor can be set according to the actual situation. You can use position description to describe the actual position. Let's take building 1 as an example. Press tab to move cursor to REG. Press the left key to type and press enter to access the drop-down menu. Select the display way. Building LCD is recommended. 
Finally, press OK to save. Printer setting. Press menu to access the menu bar. Press tab to move cursor to system. Printer setup. Press tab to move cursor to type. Defaulted as SPRT02 printer. Register choose the check mark. Press OK to save. When all the settings are finished, press the star key to put in the password of eight numbers or press the keyboard key to put in the unlock password of four numbers. Press auto manual. The key will turn red. The host is in linkage state. At this time, the host can carry out virtual fire test. Use the test instrument fire pipe to test the detector alarm. Press the manual call point to test. Only when the result reaches the limit of fire alarm devices being able to transmit information normally can the linked system fire alarm devices operate normally. When the test is over, press the reset key to reset the host. System will resume to operate normally. After the test results meet the requirements, backup the host data. Insert a U disk. Press menu to access the menu bar. Press tab to move cursor to special. Press the down key, USB backup to backup the data. Press OK to confirm. Advice When you use a U disk to backup the data, please use an empty one and the capacity should not over 8 gigabits. Don't store anything else in the U-Disk in order to avoid data backup failed. If you need advanced password when backup the data, please ask our company for it. If you need to know more, please read the manual carefully. And if there is anything you don't understand, please call our company service number.